Hi guys, how are you all doing today? Today is Monday and I got my delivery from QVC and I had, well, here she is. It's the Logo Lock Hobo in pebbled leather and this color is grape and this color is not available anymore. So when I saw it pop up in as is, I went ahead and took the plunge. Um, now, the bag itself, Everything appeared to be perfect, not used at all. Everything looked great. Inside is clean. There's no scratches on the feet, nothing. It's just in, in perfect condition. The only thing is, of course, as usual, it didn't come with a Kislock coin purse. Now, I don't know why people feel that it's okay to steal those when they, sh when, when they send these bags back as a return. I think it's awful, um, but People are doing it because I've ordered, well I ordered one as a Christmas gift and recently and it came without the coin purse and I ordered this color, this bag in this color about a year ago, maybe two years ago and it also came without the coin purse. Um, so it, it seems to be a regular occurrence and I really wish QVC would just make two different ones available one at a lower price the ones that don't have the coin purses and then the ones that do include all the the accessories keep it at the the other price and then people can choose whether they want the lower price or whether they want um, all of the accessories and to pay a little bit more which makes sense to me because all is happening is they're being shipped out to customers and they're going back right away because people um, are not they're wanting the accessories so uh, also if you call QVC and tell them you want to keep the bag but you didn't get the accessories they will give you an additional discount so so here is the color and I love it it's similar to the Bordeaux but it's just a little bit more eggplant uh, on the browner tone than on the redder tone so um, here is my Lexington in Bordeaux in pebbled leather and you can see a little bit I don't know it's hard to see because my lighting is bad right now it's really overcast out but you can see it's a little eggplant versus um, more of a Bordeaux you know wine color so oh my gosh I love this bag you guys but then I took a picture of it you know to post on the purse form and I noticed something was a little cockeyed on the front do you see that little where the logo lock clasps. Now this is straight on at the camera right now. And I thought, oh, it's something kind of, you know, cockeyed with the way that I have things arranged inside or whatever. And so I took off the clasp and this is what it looks like. It's clearly attached very crooked and nothing you do straightens it out. I'm so bummed because they don't have any more of these and I really love this color. I was all um, set to accept it without the coin purse because I have a dark Timor brown one which would go with this pretty well. But you know I asked people what they thought on the purse form and the consensus was in the end you're not going to be happy with it so and I think that's probably true plus I was kind of fiddling with it from the inside and trying to feel around under the lining and it seems like it could be a little loose which over time it might fall off and then it really wouldn't be functional anymore would it so back she goes and I'm really really bummed I really like this bag I mean I have one in natural but I really just love this color just I'm drawn more to deeper richer darker colors and so that's bye bye there uh, I also have a small see I sold a few of my bags so I had you know thought okay what's on my wish list that I might want to pick up and um, uh, so I did get a couple of bags and uh, I'll show them to you so here we have the Seville Cali Hobo, I think, or it is a hobo. Uh, 
in the color olive, and it is the Seville leather, or the European leather, they call it on QVC. Um, it's got my favorite strap, this equestrian buckle strap. Now the only thing with this bag is it's got this coated cotton lining, which to me feels like plastic. Um, and it just feels like when you stick your hand in the bag, it is nice and smooth and silky feeling, but it feels cold to the touch. And to me, that's weird because, you know, bags should have fabric. I, that's just how I feel. I think if it's a nice leather bag, top of the line leather bag like Dooney is, it really needs to have a nice lining to go with it. And to me, this just doesn't feel luxurious, you know. Dooney, what are you thinking with this? This and that European hobo on, on QVC. Very nice bags. This leather is gorgeous. It's supple. It's got a little bit of a texture, as you can see there, but it's not quite, you know, like the pebbled leather. It's got more of a smooth look. Very slouchy. Very large. You can fill it up north-south really nicely. Uh, let's see what else. These zippers. Now, I can fit my iPhone. Yes, guys, I got an iPhone 6 Plus. It's really hard getting used to this gigantic bat or gigantic phone, but you know, if I push it all the way down into the bottom corner and I wedge it in there, it does fit in the pocket, but it is kind of tight. So I can, you know, or you can do this, but as long as you're not going to turn your bag and let it fall out, I've got a shopping list here. Took this one with me to Costco today, and it was raining, and it was perfect. All weather, you know, it's not going to hurt the leather if you get it wet. Or... And I don't even, I'm not even using my purse organizer in here. I just have some pouches and everything, and it, it is kind of cumbersome reaching down into this bag. And it's not one of those when you're at the store, you can just, well, I guess you can reach in it here, but if you've got a coat on, it takes up some of this space. Um, now, I adjusted, this was on this shorter setting, so I adjusted it to be a little bit longer here. You can also adjust it on this on the strap, but I don't want to. I like to keep it right in the middle here because I like to have a little strap extra showing up here. I think it just gives it a lot more detail to have some strap length there. And for me, this is a good strap drop right here because it does slouch. So that's what it looks like. Very comfortable bag. I shopped with it today. This is comfortable. This molds to your body. I really, really enjoy carrying this one. It's really, really nice. I like it. Plus I like the, and people are commenting about the, the tan uh, zip tape here and uh, how it looks against the olive color, and I know I like that too. So it's also up here. And then also, if I don't zip it up, which you really don't need to zip this up because of this slouch, it's pretty secure with just leaving it open. But check out that pop of red you see from the lining. And if it wasn't plasticky looking, it would be even better. So this is Seville Cali in the color olive. So, I got her from I Love Dooney, and I believe the price was about 39% uh, off of the retail price, free shipping, no tax. It was just about the same price as it was at the outlet, which I did see it at the outlet, but then when I went back there another time, it wasn't there anymore in this color, so I went ahead and got it on I Love Dooney. I have another bag that I also received last night, just a moment. You guys have been waiting to see this one, <laughs> and it was worth it. I'm telling you, look at this bag. Oh my gosh, this leather is amazing, amazing. Ugh. Not like my hair is right now, my God, you guys. This is what humidity and rain does. But this is gorgeous. So this is the same as the Brenna that was on QVC. Uh, it seems to be about the same. Well, although I don't have the Brenna to compare it to anymore. I sent Brenna back. 
because I was getting this one and I got this one for 25% off on Dooney.com. Um, and it is pretty similar to the caramel color that the Brenna comes in. So five feet on the bottom, but without the extra strips there. Um, you know, you guys have seen it. These are the pockets and the magnets are pretty strong. And I put the extra part of the strap in there because I'm not going to uh, use it as a crossbody. I'm going to use it as a shoulder bag. So, uh, you know, see, I do fumble with these snaps. I just, I, I don't have the patience to sit there and try to line it up when I'm at the store and I'm rushing and stuff. So that's something that bothered me about the Python bag, which I did send back uh, because I was going to get this one instead and because I just was afraid of it being too delicate and for the full price that I paid. It just didn't seem uh, like a wise choice for me right now. So this is the color Natural in the Barlow bag, the regular size Barlow in the city leather. And my sons are texting me, sorry guys. And um, these straps, they don't have whip stitching or anything. They feel a little thinner and smaller and lighter weight than Dooney has done in the past on their straps. Uh, if I can show you, like on here, it's a similar feel on this leather too, so I feel like this can get water spots and can patina, so I think you've got to be careful. Same with the strap. It doesn't feel, I mean, it does have a little coating on the top more than it does. The bottom is unfinished, but if you can see the, the difference in, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a definite difference in feel. These feel a little thinner, almost like, you know, they cut corners on there. I don't know if that's just what they're doing now. Or if it's just, you know, part of the design of this bag, maybe it just... I think it's a little thinner. Oh, one, one other thing I noticed is it does have really nice size, substantial hardware clasps on here. Here's a comparison. See the difference there? Big, heavy, substantial hardware. I really like that. It is the shiny gold tone. The logo there, the text logo. And the strap is just plain. It doesn't have any stitching on it or anything. It's just very simple, very plain. Uh, what else can I say about this bag? A good size. It's uh, just a really good size. And on the shoulder. So these are a little bit kind of fussy, like Sue Clifton says. They're not fussy, but they are a little fussy to me. Uh, maybe just something you just have to get used to, I guess. Um, you can either fold them inside of the center compartment, but then they butt up against each other and I find it really hard to push this closed. Uh, you have to really force the bag. You can also, so I guess you could leave them inside and not snap the center closure. You could leave it open and that would work just fine. But if you really wanna snap it closed, then that's, to me, that's an issue. They can also go into these pockets and then there is no trouble at all um, snapping. Everything snaps nicely. So that's an option if you just wanted to use it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. I love it. I love the color. It's so rich for natural. It's almost, I wouldn't say it's a chestnut, but I would say it's in between kind of, or maybe the color of a natural Florentine bag once it patinas. It's just a really, really pretty color. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I'm almost afraid to carry it because it's so smooth and so pretty that I don't want to mar it up. Okay, so we have Barlow, we have Cali, and we have Lolo. And poor Lolo has a crooked nose, so she's going back. Uh, 
I'm really bummed too because I also believe really received today my Marvelush uh, Infinity Scarf and look at that. It matches. So I will wear it with my Bordeaux bags up there and have to say goodbye to Gra goodbye to Grape and I'm thinking about maybe Navy because I really, really love Navy. And uh, I don't really have any Navy bags except for um, the Snake Hobo. And it's shiny. So I was thinking just a regular Navy bag. And without any um, leather, tan leather accents would be nice and, and elegant looking. And there is one on As Is right now, which I put in my cart, but... I'm really about to give up on these as is because I'm tired of not getting the coin purse. You know, it's a nice bonus to get with these bags. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I just go ahead and, and pay full price, but maybe I'll wait because I can always get those. Those navy, these navy bags are going to be around forever. So, um,. That's that, but look at all these colors together. They look so great. Just these great fall colors. Look at them, all three. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. These are my three favorite colors right now. Three favorites. Probably my most favorite is this color right here, the Bordeaux kind of eggplanty colors. I just love them for fall. Um, I guess that's about it. I'm gonna go start dinner. Yeah, my 18-year-old told me he wasn't eating well enough, so. I guess I'm going to have to cook again, guys. I am so tired of cooking. I don't like it. All I like to do right now is make quick little things like snacks and make things in my Vitamix and, 